Today we will learn how to extract two or more columns from the non-adjacent to the adjacent in the given data set. We will demonstrate four different tricks for extracting the non-adjacent columns and bring them side by side. We will also demonstrate the dynamic approach for customized extraction of the non-adjacent columns and bring them side by side. Let us start learning. The manager asks you to extract the data on which the year and Q1 as a sales columns are side by side. We'll use copy paste in our first approach. Select the cells B4 to B14. Press and hold control key. Select the cell from F4 to F14. Press control C. Select the cell H4. Press control V. This way we get the year and Q1 as a cells columns side by side. We will use array in our second approach by selecting the year and Q1 as a cells columns separately. Press Ctrl Z to remove the previous step that we have followed. Click on cell H4, type equal, select the cells from B4 to B14, press enter. This way we get the year column. Now click on the cell I4, type equal, select the cells from F4 to F14 and press enter. This way we get the Q1 average cells column. Now we got year and Q1 average cells column side by side. If manager asks you to extract year and March column instead of the Q1 average cells column, this could be a time consuming for the immediate response to the manager. Hence we will use the next level function that is a filter function. We will first demonstrate to extract the year and Q1 every cells columns side by side. Press Ctrl Z twice to remove the previous steps that we have followed. Select the cell H4, type equal, type filter function. For array, select the cell from B4 to F14, add a comma, type a open curly bracket. We will type either 0 or 1 in a sequence of 1 to 5 since the total number of selected column is 5. 1 indicates column selected and 0 indicates column not selected. Let us say we are looking for year and Q1 average cells column side by side. So we will type 1 for the first and fifth column and the rest column we will type the 0. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Close the curly bracket, close the bracket, press enter. This way we get the year and Q1 have the cells column side by side. Now let's say we would like we get the year and March column side by side. In the similar filter function, we will change 0 to 1 for the fourth column and 1 to 0 for the fifth column. Press enter. We get the year and March column side by side. Now let's say manager asks you to extract the two columns side by side and change the column order. The first column should be the Q1 average cell column and the second column should be the year column. So we will use the choose calls function to achieve this goal. This function enables not only to extract non-adjacent to adjacent but also reshuffles the column orders based on customized need. Let us check this. Press Ctrl Z twice to remove the previous steps that we have followed. Select the cell H4, type equal, type a choose call function, press tab key. Select the array from B4 to F14. Total of 5 columns we have selected. Type a comma. Type a column number that would like to bring adjacent. We will select the year column which is in the number 1 position and Q1 average cells column which is in the number 5th positions. We will type 1 for column number 1. Type a comma and type 5 for column number 2. Close the bracket and press enter. This way we get the year and Q1 average cells column side by side. Let's say we would like to have Q1 average cells column first followed by the year column. In the choose call formula, we'll type column number 5 as the first column followed by column number 1 as the second column and press enter. This way we can change the order of columns as per the need. It will be challenging to remember the column number for the larger data set. We will follow dynamic approach possible with choose calls and match function. Now we will learn how to use the match function. The match function enables us to identify the column number based on the column heading. For example, we would like to know the March column number in the given data table. Type March in the cell K4 and press enter. Select the cell L4, type equal, type match function, press a tab key, select lookup value K4, add a comma, 
Select the lookup array from B4 to F4, add a comma, select the match type 0 for an exact match, close the bracket and press enter. We get the number 4 as the match column is in the number 4 position in the table. We will use the match function in choose call function that we would like to have side by side. We will mention the required column name in separate cells that we would like to have side by side. For example, we want year and Q1 as a cells column side by side. For that, we click on the cell H2, type equal, select the cell B4, press enter. Similarly, select I2 cell, type equal, click on cell F4 and press enter. After selecting the column title, click on cell H4, type equal, type choose call function, press the tab key, select the cells from B4 to F14, add a comma, instead of the column number, type a match function, press a tab key, for lookup value, select the cell H2, add a comma, lookup array, select the cell from B4 to F4, add a comma, for the match type, select the 0, for an exact match, close the bracket, add a comma, for the second column, type the match, press a tab key, for lookup value, select I2, add a comma, lookup array, select the cell from B4 to F4, add a comma, for match type, select the 0, for an exact match, Close bracket twice, press enter. This way, we can get the year and Q1 every cells column side by side. To make this more dynamic, we will use the data validation approach to avoid typing the column title manually. To get the data validation window, click on Alter key followed by A and again B and again V. The validation window will pop up. In validation criteria, select the list and click on the source. Select the cells from B4 to F4, press OK. We get a drop down list having the each column title. Similarly, we add drop down list to the I2 cell by copying the H2 cell. Using the shortcut key, Ctrl C and paste it on I2 cell by using the shortcut key, Ctrl V. We can bring quickly any two column adjacent by selecting the required columns from name from the drop down list. Now, let's say we would like to extract more than two columns in a different orders. Select the cell L4, type equal, type choose call function, followed by a tab key. Select the array from B4 to F14, add a comma. For column number 1, select the 5th column, add a comma. For column number 2, select the 4th column, add a comma. For column number 3, select the 3rd column, add a comma. For column number 4, select the 2nd column, add a comma. For column number 5th, select the 1st column, close the bracket, press enter. This way we can change the column order as per the need. The limitation of VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP function overcome when it used with choose calls and choose those function that we will demonstrate in our next video. Thank you.